Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. I just got back from a couple of days out in Las Vegas for the 2017 NAB conference, and man, what an event it was. It was just a really exciting place, tons of new technology. And I thought to myself, before I go out there, rather than trying to get to every booth and get a little bit of information about everything, let me pick 10 or 12 companies that I think have products you'd be interested in and spend a little bit more time with them to get information on their current products, maybe score an interview, and then talk about what's coming next for them. One of those companies that was kind enough to grant me that interview was a company called Zerotech. Now you probably know them based on one of the products that's been in the market for a while called the Dobby, which is a ultra portable selfie drone, for lack of a better term, that folds up into a package not much larger than a cell phone that you can slide in your pocket or your purse and take with you. And when you want to take pictures, you can just basically launch it from your hand. It'll find your face with facial recognition technology. It'll shoot pictures. It'll take video. And it's just kind of a clever device. While I was talking through that technology, I realized they've got two other products that are about to be released. One is actually released already. And they've got one more product that I think you're going to find incredibly exciting that's hitting midsummer. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So the Dobby itself has been on the market a while. And what's different about it now is they've actually just dropped the price by 50 bucks. So I think it's 349 and it includes an extra battery. So it's a tremendously good value. And I know you're not going to use it to replace your current drone if you've got a larger drone like the Mavic or the Phantom or the Unique product. But it's a great little drone to have when you don't want to have to set up your big drone and get it up in the air to take those pictures. So for me, I think it's a great one also to use for sort of framing your shots that you're getting up, you want to kind of get a feel for what angle you want to take and you know where the sun is in the sky. So I could see it being a second drone that you might want to take along for those cases where you just want to throw something up and get some pictures of you and some friends, or again, to set up the shot for the larger drone. Now, what's cool about the Dobby is that they're able to cram so much technology into that. It's got a stabilized gimbal, it's got follow mode, it's 1080p recording, it's built to be facial recognition software that can see you and make sure it's getting the right picture. So when I looked at that thing, and again, if you've seen this or you own one, it's incredibly small. So to pack all that stuff in a one little package, pretty incredible. And I, I spent some time asking them, like, how do you get that right on their first generation? And it turns out it isn't, right? They've been in the business a long time. Nine years of engineering went into developing that drone, and they didn't just fall into that space by accident. They really sat down and said, we're going to build a quad like anybody else hasn't built at this point, and it's going to be small and portable. And that's exactly what the Dobby is. The next product they talked about was a product called a roll cap pocket camera. Now I haven't seen this before. And honestly, when you look at it, it looks like an ice cream cone. It's got a circular bottom with a bunch of controls on the side and it's got a dome on the front. And what's different about this is it's really an action camera and it's not cheap. It's like 549, which may seem like a lot until you realize it records 4K videos, ultra high definition videos. It's got a 13 megapixel camera in there. And it's not like a lot of the sports cameras that have digital stabilization. It's actually got mechanical stabilization. So inside that tiny little package is a three axis gimbal that will keep that camera focused on your subject no matter what you do. What I like so much about it is it's small. It's like they took an Osmo and shrunk it down into a smaller package that you can hold in your hand. Again, it slips in your pocket, slips in your purse. So you can see a theme that they're developing products against here to make them portable and very personal. The next product is an outreach product from the Dobby. So the Dobby itself is a singular drone that flies. If you guys have watched any of my clips, you know I've talked about the Intel Shooting Star system where they take a bunch of drones, maybe a hundred drones or a thousand drones, and orchestrate movement of those drones together based on a software program. Well, there's a product from Dobby out that just came out called the Zero Space Formation Dance Set, which is a mouthful. I'm sure they're gonna come up with some cool name for it when it finally hits the street for marketing. But what this is, in essence, is a case that you get with either eight or four Dobbies in there and a controller and chargers to handle all that stuff. And it'll do this beautiful dance. So there's 10 patterns built in that are pre-programmed already. They're gonna release more of them, you can download them. But this is a great sort of uh, thing you can use at parties, you can use it for big events. It'll work indoors, it'll work outdoors. If you do it indoors, the drones actually start off on a carpet that's got patterns built on it. You can do this in a really small space. You don't need an auditorium to do it. So with the four units, you can have a very small space. If you go with the full eight unit set, I think it's a, a five meter by five meter. So it's, it's a little larger space, but still not that bad. You could put it up on a stage in an auditorium and amaze the audience from up there. What I like about that, again, is it shows the beauty of drones and where drones are heading. So to see these things, and I'm going to put some footage up in a second, but to watch these things dance, it's just incredible to see them go through the patterns and the precision involved with keeping those things flying as close as they are to each other without propellers nicking each other. So I don't think that's something that I'm going to buy or you're going to buy, but I like that they're out in the public with this kind of product, sort of, you know, letting the public know that drones are friendly, they're fun, they're amusing. So anything they can do to sort of broaden that appeal to the public is good for all of us. So I'll show you what the video looks like now, and then I'll come back and talk about the last product. <laughs>
cool was that? You couldn't get near that cage for most of the afternoon. When that music kicked in, crowds would run over there and you had to hold your camera up over your head to actually even get a shot of those drones. Uh, it's an enchanting thing to watch. And I'm looking at that thinking to myself, that engineering behind that is just brilliant. I know I've talked before about the shooting star system from Intel. Same kind of thing here where the technology's gotten so good that software can control those things to have them dance in such an eloquent fashion. And as I stood there, I'm looking around the crowd at the other people watching this and they were smiling ear to ear. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody that wasn't just sort of in the zone smiling like a kid who discovered a helium balloon for the first time. It was just a, a delightful experience all the way around. And I'm thinking through it and I'm thinking, yeah, this is a good thing for all of us because the more the public sees those kind of displays of where drones are graceful and elegant and they can do fun things, the less they think they're aggressive and intrusive and all the bad things that they're thinking about drones today. So as a product, incredibly cool. And I think it's got a place. I think there are gonna be promoters out there and large production companies that are gonna use them at corporate events and, and other types of large parties or who knows, a wedding, you could put it in place. So I think it's got some place out there. I don't know if I'll own one or you'll own one because they, they tend to be, I think it's gotta be expensive because it's eight dobbies. But if you're a guy who does DJing or parties or you're a photographer and you want another attraction, it's probably something cool you could bring. It's certainly unique. No one out there has got one yet. So kind of a cool product. The last thing I want to talk about, and I know I'm breaking news here, so I may get in trouble for even talking about this because it isn't out yet. I don't think anybody's talking about it. I know nobody's touched it. Um, I, I was in the booth and I actually had my hands on this thing. It's a brand new quad coming from Zero Tech. It's called Hesper, H-E-S-P-E-R. And I asked her where that name came from because it's an odd name. And it turns out that Hesper is a, I guess it's a Greek mythology related uh, term that means evening star. And I think that's kind of graceful, you know, to depict the name, like it's kind of cute. It's poetic at least. And the same thing with Dobby. I asked her about Dobby and that came from Harry Potter. So they, they are really thinking this through. A lot of poetic things going on at this company. But anyway, back to Hesper. If you look at the drone, it looks like you took a Mavic and put it in one of those shrink ray machines and got it down to about 50% of its size. And I asked her, well, what was the intent of this? What's the engineering behind it and why are you building this? And they said that they found there were customers out there that like the Dobby, but wanted a little more sophisticated flying experience with a little better quality picture, longer flight times, all the stuff that larger drones provide, but without the price tag. So they're gonna fit this thing somewhere between the Dobby price tag and probably a full size, maybe thousand dollar drone. It'll be a little less expensive than that. And again, I'm guessing because she was very um, tight on details outside of what I could pry from her. But what I do know for sure, foldable drone, small enough to fit in your pocket or a purse or a bag. It's got a removable battery. It'll fly for 18 minutes on a charge. It's got a stabilized gimbal that provides 4K Ultra HD pictures, and it'll give you high quality photos as well. Now, initially it's sold just as the drone, and you can fly it just like you do with the Dobby today with your cell phone. I'm not a big fan of flying from the cell phone. I just don't feel right not having my fingers on sticks, but that'd be the least expensive way to put this thing up in the air. They're gonna offer a controller, a dedicated controller as an accessory. So if you wanna fly it with a controller like I like to do, you can buy the controller and fly it that way. Um, and then there'll be other accessories for it as well. But what I like about it so much, and again, I'm a, I'm a fan of technology, is that all this innovation that's going on in this space is just wonderful for all the drones that are out there because it, it drives other companies to do big things. It, it makes us think about how we fly. And again, I don't know if it's gonna replace my full-size drones like the Phantom or the Mavic. I don't think it will, but who knows? but I think it's a great alternative for those times when I'm just running out for the afternoon and I may want to get a shot and I don't want to drag all my gear along with me. And the price point seems to be right at where I'd need to be to have that sort of second drone with me when I go on location in case I want to put up a drone real quick to frame up a shot or do some quick photos of me. You fold it out, you throw it up in the air and it's off and running and I get 4K video out of it. So keep an eye out for Hesper. I, I'm going to run the clip now where I did the interview. I think in the clip I actually tried to nail it down that I'd get a copy of that Hesper before it hit the street. So let's see if that happens. I'm hoping it does. Once I get my hands on it, I'll do a full review and give you the good and bad of it after I fly it a little while. But cool concept. And again, breaking news. I don't think anybody's talked about it up to this point. So let me run the clip and then I'll talk a little bit at the end of some other things that are going on. Now this clip was um, recorded on the floor. The audio is not that great because it's such a noisy place. I tried to crank up the audio as best I could. I was lucky enough to score this interview with a wonderful young lady named Iris who's working for Zero Tech and she was extremely knowledgeable at the product. So stay tuned. Let me run that clip. Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. I'm here at the Zero Tech booth with Aris. We're going to talk about some new products here. She's got the Dobby product, which you guys know I'm a big fan of. I've been talking a lot about it on the channel. I think right now it owns the market in the small drone space, and it's just a fantastic product. So it's been around a little while, and again, if you're looking for a smaller drone to complement some of your larger gear, it might be a great product for you to use. How has that been doing for you? Um, I mean, Dobby is one of our 
most proud of Target, and we put our nine year experience in the drone industry right. into uh, into Dolby. We want to make technology, drone technology, available to everyone. I mean, everyone in everyday life they want they want some drone to carry around right. and then take some some memories, record some family parties. Sure. When you are travel, you want a great travel buddy, right? So Dolby is one of our like the flagship. Um, product to make it like a personal camera meant for you. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. So it isn't your first attempt. You guys have been in the business a long time. Deep engineering technology behind it. It's not just to throw it together and good luck kind of thing. It's really been engineered well. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. We have, yeah, we, we have been doing the professional, like the big drones for nine years. Right. And then we think, why not we make a portable drone made right. for everyone? So that's why we made What I like so much about it too is that even if you're carrying a larger drone, um, you've got that where you can set up a shot and get the frame, or maybe you don't want to drag the big drone out of the case and you yes. can throw that up in the air and take it up in the air. So that's fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Now, what have you got here? This looks interesting. Oh, this is our, this is the brother of Dobby. So this is called Rocap, the pocket game rock camera. So uh, it's also portable, you know, and it has three axes. Uh, game on it, so when you move, it will still take the steady shots, and you can mount it onto the um, bicycle, board, motorcycles, whenever you have the accessories. And uh, also, it is really like, um, like really portable. Well, it's compact. Yeah, that's what blew yeah. me away about it. I didn't. Know, I thought it was a microphone when I first looked at it, but what you've done there is you've taken a large Osmo or a three-axis stabilized gimbal and you put it in a shrink machine and shrunk it down. Yeah. It looks like an ice cream cone to me, but it, it looks tremendous. I mean, the fact that it's so portable, it's protected, the lenses aren't exposed, yes. that's amazing stuff. So, and that's rechargeable and it's 4K. Yes, it's 4K for video and photos. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic. So I can see that sliding into a pocket or a purse and being the ultimate portable gimbal. Yeah, gimbal. yeah. That's tremendous. Everyone says it looks like an ice cream cone. It does look like an yeah. ice cream cone. Yeah, that's why our poster is posting it like this. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. All right, and then we've got a secret project over here that hasn't been announced yet. So let me move this out of the way so I can get a good shot at that. What is that? So, I'll tell you what it looks like. Let me interrupt yeah. you a second. Yeah, okay. That to me looks like you took you took the Osmo and shrunk it here. You took the Mavic and shrunk it there. That's what yes. it looks like. Yes. So explain to me what that is. So this is our new drone. When we launched Dobby, there's so many feedback here. It says, why you guys don't have a uh, drone with better uh, flight time, with a better image quality, yep. but it's still foldable, still carryable. So then we came up with Hasper. Hasper is our advanced pocket drone, which has 4K image with uh, 80 minutes flight time. Wow. Yes. That's and a it, tiny package for that much flight time. Yeah, I know. A substantial battery. Yeah. Right yeah, that's fantastic. Now, can you show me it unfolded? Yes. It's going to take about eight seconds here. She's had experience too, so that counts. Yes. Oh. So, like, it will click when you open like this. Yep. That's the difference between Mavic. Right. So, you want yeah, to... The Mavic folds down underneath. Yes. Yeah. So, you want to open like this. Right. Yeah, I just show you the wrong way to no, open. No, I actually yeah. like that because that keeps the, keeps the arms in when it's packed, right? Yes, so that's that is why... So, that's a little bit of a preventer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. And that's why it's safe to carry. Like, okay. uh, you, you, when you, like, do that, yep. it's very easy to crash right. because it doesn't click, right? Right, exactly. But, but when you do like this, this yeah. is, like, very uh, square-like. Wow. And when you put it into a bag, it's well-protected, yep. like this. Now, I see some sensors on the bottom there. Is that ultrasonic? Yeah, and, a, and a, um, yes. Okay. Yes. And is there, last question, is there a controller with it or you fly with the phone? Oh, um, it comes with the controller as well, if okay. you want the controller. Okay. But basically, you can also use the app, just okay. like the Dobby's. So we give app, options. I think the app is probably the better way for most people flying, because if you're taking a portable drone, yes. you don't want to carry it on the controller. You don't want to but there's hardcore flyers that want that controller to get it up in the air. Yes. So it's nice. I don't know if you have any announcing dates or pricing, but when you release that, you'll release it. I guess it's just the drone, and maybe the drone and the controller as a package. Um, or you think you release it with the controller? Uh, controller is like an optional accessory, okay. so you can pay extra for the controller. Oh, I see. Okay. But you can also just buy the drone. Buy that. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. And the battery is removable or is it internal? Uh, it's movable. So removable. It's, okay. Yeah. So yeah. you can pick up spare batteries and just swap them out if yeah. you want to fly longer. 
Yeah. Excellent, fantastic. All right, so keep an eye out for that. It hasn't been announced yet, so we're breaking it here first. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for talking about it, but I'll get all the specs I can and try and put them in the clip so you guys know what you're getting. But um, very seductive drone, very sexy drone. So yeah. thanks a lot. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you so we appreciate much. it. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Happy flying. Bye. Okay, that's pretty much it for today. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this. I really enjoy talking to these people. It seems like they've got engineers that are just working on all kinds of cool things. And unlike a lot of other companies out there, they're not trying to go head on with some of the bigger quad companies and reinventing the quad. They're looking for little niche plays that haven't been served well by the bigger companies, and they're developing really creative, innovative products to fill those gaps. The Dobby product certainly was the first one that came out as a portable selfie drone. There've been a bunch of other companies now that have come out since. Some are clones, some are unique, but again, kind of a market leader in that space. This portable camera, that roll cap camera, kind of a unique piece, right? I mean, okay, there's tons of stabilized gimbal sticks out there, but they all look like gimbal sticks. And to have this thing be self-contained, like in an ice cream cone shape, kind of a cool feature, you know? Fits in your pocket, fits in your purse. So they're thinking through this stuff, and that Hesper product, I think it's got a place. I think there's a market for it out there. Now, time will tell whether other products come out to eclipse it or overtake it, but you know, I like that they're thinking this stuff through. So very exciting company. I plan on staying very close to them. I'm gonna keep hammering them about getting test products to you know test out for you guys and do reviews of. Hopefully they'll send me that gear and I'll go into in-depth reviews and all that stuff. But anyway, keep an eye on these guys because I think they're going places. So that's all I had today. Um, again, I appreciate you guys watching. I had a ball out there at uh, NAB 2017 and I've got a bunch more clips coming this week. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, I'll answer all the ones I can. I'm really doing the best I can to stay on top of the comments and the emails. It's just been overwhelming because the channel has exploded over the last couple of months, but I'm, I'm working late into the night to answer as many questions as I can. I, and again, I really appreciate you guys watching. So thanks an awful lot and uh, happy flying. Mm -hmm.